Hello, I'm documentary filmmaker PJ Yench, creator of such documentaries as Fast Times at Emmy High, A Closer Look at High School Students, and Child Stars. What the hell have they been doing? I'm here to take you on an oceanic adventure, both above and below the waves, to discover the truth behind a mysterious pipeline recently found on Google Earth. Take a look. It may be difficult to see it in the camera, but that's it right there. And it stretches across the Atlantic. Telephone cables? Or an oil pipeline, you might say. But consider this. This thing is as wide as Manhattan and stretches all the way across the Atlantic Ocean. Now I've looked, and in the record books I've found nothing that suggests that man has ever even attempted anything of this magnitude. At least not in the recorded history books. And the amazing thing is, there's more of them. This one goes from the Yucatan Peninsula all the way to Senegal, Africa. This one starts in South America and wraps all the way around the South Pole. And this one seems to connect Northern Russia to North America. But right now, these are just lines on a map on Google Earth. There's no proof of whether or not they actually exist or of who made them. So we're going out to find that proof. I've assembled an expedition team, which includes myself as videographer, Sean Gervin as boat captain and dive master, and Charlie Hatch as first mate. Now we'll be traveling for three to four days down the coast until we hit around Roanoke Island, at which point we'll head out into open water and hopefully dive on the site that I think could possibly be the entrance to this pipeline, located right there. With any luck, we should be able to find out whether or not this thing actually exists, and hopefully, who made it. Welcome to day three. What's up? We're fueling up right now. And uh, uh, yeah, last can't... night we fired our first mate, Charlie Hatch, because he proved himself incompetent by urinating in one of the tents. So we uh, hired another gentleman Sarge, he'll be our first mate. He'll be coming aboard in about an hour. Right now we're just refueling, and we'll be heading out for a final leg. So, wish us luck. This is our first mate, Sarge. How's it going? Is it mine? Well, we're part way out. It looked like it was south. The weather's gotten a lot better, as you can see. Here's the rest of our crew. Sean, how's our progress? We're getting there, man. We're getting there? We have apparently reached an amazing fishing spot. So we're taking a break. Let's see if we can nail a tuna. Oh, what the hell is it? Catch it. What the hell is that? It has no face. <laughs> what the hell? Get it. What the hell is this thing? It looks like it died, whatever it was. Your stomach exploded out of its mouth, you know? What the hell is that? You thing? swallowed it and when you reel it up you yanked its stomach off. No, no, that's not what it is. It's when it's it, the pressure. The pressure, yeah, it was the 200 feet down. Oh, Dude, what is that stomach thing? Stomach blow up. All right, don't let them get twisted up in there. Oh, what is that thing, dude? I've Ooh. never seen anything like that. Neither have I. Oh, you fucked up this net though, bro. That thing's really weird. The thing is... Right now we're just about to the, uh, while we're doing the dive, we're just looking for the shallow water, which means we found the pipeline, so. Any minute now, we're gonna make it in. And as you can see, we are far away from any type of land. We are out here. It's about 25. How deep is it? Yeah, 2.5. Wow, that's pretty deep. 
All right, well, we just made it out, and uh, I was real worried we weren't gonna be able to do this dive because it was about 500 feet up until uh, a couple minutes ago, and then shot up to about 100, which is well within his diving range. Uh, That's about as deep as I'll go. Yeah, but that makes me think that we're um, actually on this pipeline, and uh, we might get some really interesting stuff. He's gonna go down there, and um, good to go. Dive down, take that camera down with him, and see if he can't find any uh, anything that looks man-made or artificial to uh, prove that this pipeline's in fact there and is in fact uh, well man-made or something. Shut up. How's the water? It's cold. All right, when you get when you get down there, uh, film anything that looks remotely man-made. Make sure you get it on tape, all right? Good luck, man. Godspeed. All right, we are waiting for him to surface. He should be down there for about, I don't know, another, 10, 15 minutes, so, uh, well, probably more, probably more like a half hour. So, uh, we're just waiting for him to come on up. Whoa, is that the camera? I think he's coming up. Hey, get the gaffer hook, get the gaffer hook. Um, we're getting really worried here. He's been down for about half hour, 40 minutes, and uh, I'm pretty sure he's running out of air right about now. Um, I'm not sure how much air he had, but it was, I don't think it was more than, I don't know. Um, he's reviewing the footage right now. How, have you rewound that yet? It's rewinding. So, uh, so we'll be able to find out, I guess, if he's got snagged up or fouled up or something. He's around the tape, so uh, we're gonna review it right now. Right, um, come check this out. I can't see it on this camera. All right. Well, it's just green, black. Whoa, what the, the fuck, fuck was that? What the fuck? Rewind it. What Jesus the fuck was that? Christ. No, rewind it. Rewind it. Here. What the what fuck? The... Oh, shit. Holy shit, dude. Let's get the fuck out of here. Yo, no, we Jesus gotta... Jesus Christ. You wanna get out? Dude, no, dude. He's still down there, man. Mayday, mayday. Uh, calling Coast Guard. Uh, we need a helicopter out here ASAP. Uh, we have a scuba diver that's been under for about 30 minutes and has uh, yet to resurface. Over.